All right, so we are here in the driveway of my house, and this may seem like a rather unusual way to start one of my car wash videos, but this one I believe is rather special. So I'm gonna go ahead and explain a little bit before I actually go to the car wash I'll be taking this to. Um, first off, you all might recognize this car as the one that's the only one I've really taken to all of my car wash reviews and videos. And you can see it in the background of some of my trash truck videos as well. Uh, this is a 2003 Lexus ES300. I got it for a very good price. Uh, and it served me well for the last two years, but I'm going to be upgrading in the coming weeks to a newer car. And so this one is going to be sold in a little, in, in, I'm going to try to get it done this week as of when this was shot. Um, and since this has been such a good car and the way it served me, considering how well it's held up for the age of its, for the, for its age especially, I figured I'm going to feature this car in one more car wash review before I, uh, send this thing to where, whoever's going to have it next. And I had Care Express car wash. Uh, over in Ukaipa opened a few months ago. I had posted a video of them already. Their Insta whoever runs their Instagram page reached out to me a couple days ago and said that they wanted me to come get another video of this wash, of their wash. And apparently since I went during their quiet opening stage, they have, grand they have had their grand opening and I'm sure it's at its full potential. And I decided I'm going to let this car accumulate a little bit of dirt, a little bit of dirtiness and dirt and stuff to see what it's truly capable of, and give Care Express Car Wash the honor of of this car being of the feature. Fe I'm sorry, being featured in one of my last car wash reviews with this car. So with that being said, I'm going to be out in that area tomorrow, as of when this was shot, and uh, um, we'll see how it goes. I'm actually look, really looking forward to filming this, but for now, that's it. All right, guys. It's now the next day. We are heading over to Care Express. Um, it's about five minutes from where I live, but I don't know if you can tell. Like the, I don't know what got on my windshield, but it's messed it up a little bit. Looks like some sort of dirt and grime, but we're about to fix that problem. So uh, I'll start the camera back up when I get when I get there. I do apologize. My voice isn't the greatest. I just woke up like an hour ago. And I'm kind of doing this in the morning, so let's see how this goes. All right, we are pulling in to care. It's very empty this morning, but that makes sense given that the weather isn't that great this morning. Kind of not starting on a good note. But like it's been like gloomy in the morning and bigger in the afternoon. So the I've actually been asked, uh, been like requested in a way to do this, and I'm kind of happy to. So. I'm gonna go ahead and get this situated. See, so look as you look at your wash options there. Starting at the, uh, well, so I mean, you have a maximum of 18, 15, all the way down to what, nine dollars, eight dollars, and they've got the monthly memberships, of course. Oh, thank you so much. Have a uh, no, thank you. So they actually did bug prep this time, probably because they're fully open now, so that's good. And so we're starting out with the, I'm assuming they call this lava bath. Oh, 
probably some sort of uh, extra foam protectant. So this car wash advertises having the softest, <coughs> excuse me, the softest brushes in town. And you're gonna see that here in a second with these uh, uh, goofy little wraps here. They're good, they're all, I call them goofy because they're uh, not the same material. And they're also very quiet that most, most wrap, wraps and brushes use, which is very cool actually, so. I'm actually wondering how good that works for like really dirty vehicles, like dirt and stuff. I can imagine that like the up downside would be getting a, getting a, a, a dirt on those, having to get those out of the material. I really don't know, but I, I guess they work, so. And of course we got the little rocker brushes with the same material, little emitter material, which is actually a very cool design that I'm surprised no other company thought of before, or I haven't seen before either. Cool. Kind of reminds me of the uh, some Oasis, uh, the Oasis Typhoon. I'm sorry, uh, the uh, first generation Oasis Typhoon IBAs had the same little uh, forward and backward sprayers. And now we're on to the blower stage. I've always wished that the wash I work at had these little blowers. They're pretty cool. And now we're getting our uh, buff and dry shining brush on both the sides and the front and the top, excuse me. Now in certain packages actually, um, on certain car wash packages, um, they only include the top one and they don't do the sides. But you know, on the top one, of course, you get the, the, the top wash, you'll get all of them. I don't know if they do add-ons necessarily, but um, like add-ons to their washes and stuff um, for like lower washbacks, people who don't want to buy the top one. But I, w I would be kind of surprised if they didn't, to be honest with you. Most washes do that. Let's wait for the go light. And I am gonna take advantage of their complimentary vacuums here. So I guess there's a little bit of a delay on the exit sign. Not a huge deal, really. As long as the cards are spaced out correctly on busy days, which I'm sure they are. So nevertheless, uh, just like the first time, I was very, kind of, very impressed with this wash. I would uh, strongly recommend it to anyone in this area. Um, all the equipment is in perfect working order does what it's advertised now let's see just like on the outside of the car i let some like dirt and grime accumulate just for the sake of testing this wash to its full potential now let's see just how much of it it got off shall we so i guess see these knocked one of my mirrors in but uh, i should have folded them when i'm going in so that's on me not really on the wash here So I've, these rims actually, contrary to how they look, this is some of this looks to be permanent or just stuck on, oh. So I guess the rims aren't the cleanest here, but I haven't seen a lot of Inbay Automatics or automatic washes that do the greatest job with these. So I won't, I won't say that's the far, uh, the, sorry, a part uh, on, on the wash here. But I mean, like you still have leftover residue on the tires, but it seems like most automatic washes really can't get into those areas, so I won't blame that on this wash in particular. It's just kind of the thing that comes out with it. Same deal with all the tires. I mean, the actual outsides of the things here look like they were shined pretty decently, so that's cool. So, I mean, the blowers don't always do a good job with the, um, or the, with getting the backs and fronts of this drive. It's also kind of sprinkling, so it's kind of undoing what the wash did, but that's also not on them. 
kind of see that same deal with the tires going on all around with the rims. The actual tires themselves are fine, just the rims always seem to have trouble at most automatic washes. You can see, I don't see any sign of residue or anything that was there before. That appears to be all gone. This mirror I kind of messed up, that's all permanent. This is, this is permanent paint damage. It's not on the wash. Actually, I can't even scratch it off, so that's not on them. Um, this is all paint chipping from the amount of times I've washed it elsewhere. I mean, this stuff is just mostly permanent. I would have to, like, scrub this off myself. But all that stuff that was on the windshield, that appears to be completely gone. So, let's just check the front bumper, see how well it did in that regard. A lot of this, this stuff, little spots here are just paint chipping. Not necessarily bad washing at all. Yeah, did phenomenal. I really don't have any complaints here. If this car was really dirty, that'd be a good test. I mean, on the outside, but very solid wash. I'd strongly recommend coming out here. And Care Express definitely did a good, definitely did a good job with this. Absolutely, would recommend this. Would recommend this place if you're in this area. The property itself is actually still in very good shape. I mean, really can't, kind of hard for that to occur. Kind of hard for like bad maintenance to occur. Cause like this has only been open for a few months and this looks absolutely beautiful. I love like the whole color scheme of the property. Kind of lines up with the theme of this, kind of the town, like Kaipa and Calamesa, very well. With that being said, that's all I got for you. Thank you all for watching and I want to issue a special thanks to the general manager and one of the assistant managers for uh, inviting me to come out here again and get another uh, video of this place and that's it